हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ पॉइंटर्स इन सी प्लस प्लस इन सी प्लस प्लस अ पॉइंटर रेफर टू अ वेरिएबल दैट होल्ड द एड्रेस ऑफ अनदर वेरिएबल इन कंप्यूटर मेमोरी लाइक नॉर्मल वेरिएबल पॉइंटर आल्सो हैव अ डेटा टाइप फॉर एग्जांपल अ पॉइंटर ऑफ टाइप इन टीजर can hold the address of variable of type integer only similarly a pointer of character type can hold the address of variable of character type only now how to declare pointer in c++ first of all data type then star operator then name of the point p is the pointer in this case we have declare a pointer p of type int right we can also declare pointer like int then star operator then name of the pointer there are two way to declare a pointer in c++ the first way is data type then star and name of the pointer the second way is data type star operator then name of the pointer then after that we have declare one normal variable a a is a normal variable and value 10 is assigned to a then after that assign address to pointer so p is the pointer variable that hold the memory address of a the value of a is 10 and the address of a is stored in a pointer variable p now in this case value 10 assigned to the variable a and the address of a is assigned to the pointer variable that is p to get the value pointed by pointer we always use star operator star is a dereferencing operator to get the value pointed by pointer we use the star operator write down the statement c out star p now after the execution of this code the output is 10 now in this case the address of a variable a is assigned to a pointer p we have used the star p to get the value stored in that address when star is used with pointer it is called the dereference operator it operate on a pointer and gives the value pointed by address stored in the pointer now if you want to print the address then use the name of the pointer p so the execution of this code the address of a is stored in p if we write c out insertion operator p then address is to be printed onto the screen we can also change the value pointed by pointer if p points to the address of a we can change the value of a by using star p how to change write down the statement star p is equal to 5 and see out a use and else for new line now after the execution of this code the value of a is 
Now in this case, P and M present A have the same address and the value of A will also be changed when star P is changed. Next is pointer to point. Pointer to pointer is also known as double pointer. So how to declare double pointer? Int double star Q. We use double star to declare the double point. The first pointer hold the address of variable and second pointer hold the address of first point q is equal to m percent p now the address of variable a is stored in first pointer p and the address of first pointer p is stored in double pointer q now if we write this statement like c out q and l now the address of first pointer is to be printed onto the screen and if we want to print the address of second pointer then use m percent q now address of second pointer is to be printed onto the screen 10 is a value of a and 884 is the address of a and triple eight is the address of first pointer and 890 is the address of second pointer ampersand operator is for address and star operator is the dereferencing operator always print the value now if you write star q star q give us the value of P. The value of P is the address of A. Right? But if you write C out double star Q. In this case, what will be the output? 10 star q give the value of p and double star q gives the value of a so double pointer is a pointer that hold the address of first pointer Next is how to use pointer with array. In C++ pointers are variable that hold address of other variables, right? Not only can a pointer store the address of single variable, it can also store the address of cells of an array. Let's see int star p. p is a pointer of integer type and int a of 5 so a is a variable of array type now in this case p is a pointer variable while a is a integer array now p is equal to a p is a pointer variable that hold the address of 
फर्स्ट एलिमेंट ऑफ एन एरे Now in this case we have used p is equal to a instead of p is equal to m percent a, m percent a of zero. Both are same. And the address of rest of the array elements are to that address a of m percent a of one, m percent a of two, and so on. Right? If pointer points to the first element of an array. If you write p plus three, right? That means pointer points to the fourth element of an array. See the code. How to use array with pointer? Int a, a is array, and size of array is five. Five elements are stored in this array. And int star p, p is a pointer. And p is equal to a. That means p is a pointer that points to the first element of an array. After that, use the for loop. I is equal to zero. Loop start with zero. I is less than five, and I plus plus. And use C out to display the array elements. After the execution of this code is addresses is to be printed onto the screen. P is a pointer that holds the address of first element of an array, right? So P is a pointer plus I. I is an index. The first element is stored at index zero. the p is a pointer that print the address of first element of an array right if we want to print the value then use star operator star is a dereferencing operator that print the value at this address now after the execution of this code values are printed onto the screen another way to print the values of array onto the screen first of all print the value stored at the address of the pointer p write down star p right star p print the value stored at address of p one value will be returned per iteration and a total of five repetition will be done right and we have used endl keyword this allow you to move the cursor to the next line after each value is printed and each value will be printed in an indivisible line right and to move the pointer to the next int position after every iteration we use P plus plus. First value is to be printed onto the screen. After that, pointer points to the next memory location, and so on. Now, after the execution of this code, values are to be printed onto the screen. First of all, star p. Star p print. the value stored at the address of pointer p then p plus plus that means to move the pointer to the next int position after every iteration right this is all about the pointers in c plus plus